This canvas is awesome. She's letting me do my thing and just reworking this tattoo and adding to it. Looks beautiful, I gotta say. Nikki's thinking that I'm gonna drop the ball with this tattoo. Her strategy's definitely not gonna work today. This is lovely. Gian's not even really doing a cover-up. He's just reworking what was already there. It definitely doesn't meet the challenge of a cover-up. This week, we're testing ingenuity. Ingenuity in a tattoo is using a design in a creative way to work well on the body and be visually appealing. Today, you must find a unique way to use your canvas's anatomy to make your tattoo come to life. What? What does that mean? From armpits to belly buttons to a fist or a foot, you must work with the shape and movement of that body part to create an illusion. Like seriously? Ingenuity is really important to create this illusion because you need that body part to be a part of your tattoo. It takes tattooing to a whole nother level. Let's meet your canvases. What do you want to get? A pinup girl on the back of my neck and have my hair as her hair. That's ridiculous. Cruzman. Oh. She wants a pinup on the back of her neck and she wants her hair to be the pinup's hair. This is going to be a nightmare. How ridiculous is that going to look? I'm gonna go ahead and put the stencil on you. In order to achieve an optical illusion tattoo properly, you're gonna really have to know the anatomy and dynamics of the image that you're tattooing and the body part that you're placing it on. And lift. Dude, that's perfect on the first try. If you're not ingenious doing these tattoos, you will not succeed. Oh. Uh, hi, guys. Hey, buddy. How you doing? My final tattoo before I go home, Ski. I feel like I can't win for nothing, man. I'm just getting screwed left and right. I have too much integrity to give this lady a headless pinup on the back of her head. I'm not gonna do it. Sometimes you can't be bought. This is the type of challenge that's making me wanna throw in the towel. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, machine's down, time is up. No more ink. It looks amazing, I love it. I love it. Sweet. Cruzman might just go to the bottom with this tattoo. He did not try to use her hair for the illusion at all. I expected way more out of him. Hands down, I don't think I met the challenge. They said today, Dude, like, follow the follow challenge. Follow the rules. It's either look like an idiot or do a cool tattoo. Your canvas signed up for this I had a choice to make. I could either do a pinup girl with half of her head cut off, or I could do a sick tattoo on the back of her neck and take a chance on going home. Well, that could be really dangerous. They'd be fools for sending me home. I'm a solid tattooer I, in this competition. Today, you had to use ingenuity to come up with a clever way to transform your canvas's body part. Each of you tattooed head to head with another artist. One of you will win, and one of you will lose. Cruzman. What was your plan of attack here? She wanted a pinup girl on the back of her neck with her hair becoming the pinup girl's hair. And I just think that that's a ridiculous idea. I abandoned ship. Stop. I wish I would have got a Buddha that I could just line up the belly button. Or... This is easy. To have the back of a neck, no problem. And I definitely tried. You I know don't know think I mean? you did. Abandon the challenge and I expect everything else in the tattoo to be perfect. And there's a lot of flaws in the tattoo. The black shading from underneath her chin where the earring is, kind of weird. The little outline of her lip is a little bit wonky. Could it have been cleaner? Absolutely. Tattooed it on the back of her neck. If you're playing it, play it or make it easier on everybody and throw in the towel. That was a lot more cruel than I thought. Out of respect for everybody standing here who did the challenge, you got to give it to Duffy. I agree with that. Winner of the head-to-head -head challenge is Duffy. The Human Canvas jury is deliberating right now. Their vote will put one artist up for elimination, and the canvas will be here to tell us why. Head back to the loft, and we'll call you back when we have a decision. We're here to determine who had the worst tattoo of the day. That's my tattoo. My artist was Chris Mann. It doesn't look at all like her hair is going to go up to your hair. He was trying to incorporate it, but also give me a nice tattoo. This is a challenge, and you're supposed to do what you got to do. I think he did an awesome job. Today, you had to use ingenuity to create an illusion on your canvas's skin. Cruzman. My concern for your future is if this is how you're going to do it, you're not going to make it. I just failed. But did you fail, or did you not do it? Or did you give up? That's what we're having a hard time determining. I don't think that I necessarily gave up. There's going to be some other left-of-center challenges that you may think aren't great ideas. 
My very first inclination was to send Cruzman home. I don't want to keep somebody in the competition who's not going to fight. For me, this is splitting hairs and I'm looking at talent. I'm judging as the rules of the game. Next week, it's like we're all going to do head tattoos. Eh, I want to do it on the chest. At this point, I got to vote for Cruzman. And no disrespect, man, because I love your work. I'll be damned if I'm sending home a good tattooer. And it's not that Earl's not a good tattooer, but he hasn't produced the quality that Cruzman has. So what's your vote? Earl goes home. The judges have decided, Earl, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Christian, as the returning veteran artist, it's on your shop to prove that you deserve to be here by overcoming your weaknesses. And in Christian's honor, you'll all be judged on ingenuity. Now there's no better test of ingenuity than a new school tattoo. That's in my honor. I can't believe they smacked me with this right out the gate. I absolutely hate this style. I think this is for children and coloring books, not for tattoo artists. With bright, saturated colors and crazy proportions, these images are known for their creative view of the world. New school, it's hard. You have to take something that's boring and flat and make something that you haven't seen before. My time to shine, baby. Your shop will create one tattoo on the same canvas. However, this time, one artist will tattoo for the first three hours, and the other artist will tattoo for the last three hours. I'm gonna try to tattoo this whole tattoo in three hours, so there's little for Hobo to do. We need to survive until the next round. Let's meet your canvases. So I want a magical wizard raccoon on my ribs. Ribs? Mm -hmm. Your ribs? Yes. Okay. The ribs are a very, very sensitive area, and most people do not want to get tattooed on their ribs, even for a few minutes. This one we don't want. Okay, canvases, please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. She's the wizard. She wants the ribs, so that's kind of tricky. Basilica tattoo? Being a returning vet, you expect to get the worst canvas. But you know what? Bring it on. I want the raccoon to be like kind of cutesy, holding maybe like a spell book and a wand. Okay. I definitely don't want to do new school on the ribs. It's a more vertical look. You might do better on a vertical body part. Shoulder, thigh. I'm getting married next month, and my fiance and his in-laws would have a but if I do anything super visible. I'm a firm believer that the, the piece should fit the body part. I have a big piece on my thigh. Okay. So I'm comfortable doing the other one. You could do that. Yeah, that's a no brainer. <laughs> nice try, Black Spade. I'm glad your little plan backfired. All right. Doing a new school tattoo in a competition setting can be difficult because there's a million styles in new school. Like that? Just a little bit more, boom. These artists are gonna have to use ingenuity because we've seen it all. We're looking for these guys to come out and be original and take a swing at having fun with a piece of art. All right, you ready? Rich. Tag, you're it. What do you have at it? Thank you. Even though neither one of us really does this, I think this challenge kind of fit our two styles. Oh, yeah. Nolan specializes in lots of big color fields, backgrounds. I'm much more technical, so I went first. I did all the outline, all the black. Oh, if we go home on this, I'm breaking some <laughs> Today, you had to prove your ingenuity. Kristen, this challenge was designed to test your weaknesses. Basilica tattoo, you're up first. There's a lot of strong technical aspects to this tattoo. I like the texture and the flow of the hair and the tail. But I think that as far as the new school challenge, just because it's a bobblehead and has a little bit of pink on the outline, doesn't really make it new school. New school is probably the one thing that we were most afraid of. The drawing itself lacks a little dynamics. You guys are looking for a win. You're not looking for a get by. Try to win everything. Today, you must tattoo whatever your canvas wants in some of the most difficult places. Oh, no. From heads and necks to armpits and butts, it will take creativity to design a tattoo that fits the body part perfectly. I don't want to touch a butt. Don't forget, the team whose artist wins tattoo of the day will form the jury of peers and deliberate to choose one artist to put up for elimination. Yeah, right. Let's meet your canvases. What are you trying to get today? It's one thing when canvases want a crazy idea, but when they want a crazy idea on a crazy body part, that makes it twice as hard. A black and gray Japanese style frog on my butt. You don't realize how much that ass hurts. Okay, canvases, one by one, please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. JP. Yeah. He didn't learn from his koi fish. 
You have six hours to tattoo a difficult part of the body. And based on your work, one of you will be going home. Good luck. Today, our artists are gonna be challenged on placement. What do you think, just dead smack right here? Oh, yeah. Inexperience makes different locations on the body harder to tattoo than others. I don't even think the knee's that bad. I got everything tattooed. You don't have your dick got tattooed, though. I feet tattooed. Huh? I got my balls tattooed. <laughs> First line, it's like, oh my god, what am I doing? If you are not used to tattooing an armpit or not used to tattooing a butt cheek and you don't know how to stretch the skin, how to place your canvas, you will have a hard time in these tattoos. It will feel like I'm tattooing your face, but I'm not. Just so make sure you breathe, OK? I like this design a lot, dude. Don't blow up my head, Christian. <laughs> I've been at the bottom a lot. I'm feeling a lot of pressure to make this tattoo really stand out. Just have fun with it, man. Yeah. You've been waiting for this. Yeah, I have. My canvas has some stretch marks on his butt. When you're pulling your line and you run over a stretch mark, it almost shifts your liner. This can screw everything up. I have a tattoo right here. Yeah. That's not my ass. I mean, I can honestly say that Tim's, JP's, Jess's, they're not an ass tattoo. That's a hip tattoo that kind of wraps a little on your ass. You don't meet the challenge, man, you lose. Yeah. I mean, I know that for a fact. Today, you are being tested on creativity, tattooing difficult body parts. Team Christian, you're up first. Tim. What placement did your canvas ask for? Ass. I'm an ass man, and uh, that ain't no ass tat. That's straight up ass right there. This is my ass. That's not where a tattoo is. That's it. Hip tat. Other than the placement, I love this tattoo. I love the line weight. I love the cleanliness of this tattoo. I like the use of the light blue in the tattoo to show that the horse is white. Do not yourself out of wins by not putting things where they're asked. That's an ass. That's the front of her leg. You're an ass. Jess. It has some nice detailing in the rows, nice shape, but a little light on creativity. Definitely a little light on being on the part of the body where it was supposed to be. Do you guys all know where the ass is on the body? Questionable. I would say you're definitely in the running for hoping somebody up more than you do. Falls a little short for me. Like, are y'all literally like refusing to believe that like the side of an ass exists? It's called the hip. JP. What was the placement? Placement was ass. That ain't no ass, dude. This is insane. It's a creative illustration, but it's a little tonal. It took me a minute to find the toad. I do feel that this is the strongest tattoo that I've given you guys so far. This is a vast improvement. But placing this on an area where you have all these stretch marks was really tough to get a smooth, consistent fade. When you're riding over this wobbly stuff, tighten it up. Today, you had to prove your creativity, and based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Clean, why did your team vote JP to the bottom? We felt that JP's was the one that was the hardest to determine what was at first glance. You didn't want Kyle down here. Is Kyle down here right now? No. And the judges obviously didn't pick him. You didn't want him facing the music for that busted piece of So you're tattoo. telling me that this busted ass tattoo is better? Way better than Kyle's. Way better. Overall, man, I think it's a pretty solid tattoo. You have some outlines in here that are probably some of the worst outlines of the day. I really hate to go home on this tattoo. JP's is a lot easier tattoo to do. Also, the placement. You're looking at one guy on a knee with problems. You're looking at one guy on a hip that's pretty easy with problems. My vote's for JP. JP. The judges have decided, JP, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I just want to say, man, that I went from not wanting you on my team day one to, dude, you have more than earned not just my respect, but I think everybody in the house, dude, and you should hold your head high, 100%. Today, you must cover a tattoo in a spot that is often a source of embarrassment, a tramp stamp. I knew that damn tramp stamp fad would come back to bite me in the ass. <laughs> Tramp stamps became a fad because their designs were typically small and their placement was easy to hide. However, the placement of the tramp stamp on the extreme lower back makes it a serious challenge to cover tastefully. Tattooing over already tattooed skin just makes the tattoo process that much more difficult. If an artist doesn't have good technical application, there's no point in tattooing because you're just gonna put them through unnecessary amounts of pain and see the tattoo underneath anyways. All right, let's meet your canvases. 
What are you looking to get today? I would like a nature scene with flowers, butterflies, birds that represent my family. This tramp stamp is rough. It's really big, it's really dark, and it's packed with existing color. Whoever gets this is totally screwed. Gian. Wrong man. I am interested to see Gian think his way out of this one. Cover-ups are a great test of technical application because you're basically playing a trick on the eye and you're camouflaging an area and you have to disperse the dark as evenly as you disperse the light so that the cover-up's not obvious. So with these flowers, going for the other side now. What color are you doing them? I'm going for red, because that way uh -huh. I can do the butterfly blue and that blue little one that you got here to match with the other one. Oh, okay. And then you got like hot and cold. This canvas is awesome. She's letting me do my thing and just reworking this tattoo and adding to it. Looks beautiful, I gotta say. Nikki's thinking that I'm gonna drop the ball with this tattoo. Her strategy's definitely not gonna work today. This is lovely. Gian's not even really doing a cover-up. He's just reworking what was already there. It definitely doesn't meet the challenge of a cover-up. Final hour remaining, final hour. Gian, his looks great. Uh, He's just a slick technician, yeah. He, he didn't have to cover, though. It was more of a fix-up add-on. Five. Four, three, two, one. That's it. Time's up. Machine's down. No more ink. Today, you had to show bulletproof technical application by covering a tramp stamp. Gian. Instead of covering up, you did a reworking. Just try to fix it and make a pretty tattoo. Try to make the best of what I had. Is it fair that everybody else covered up an existing tattoo and you reworked one? I feel like this was the most responsible choice to make and would have been a really, really hard one to cover. This is 100% the right move to give this canvas the best tattoo. He covered up every bad design and line of this tattoo with a new beautiful line and design of a tattoo. And the quality and the technical application of which he applied this whole tattoo is amazing. All right, judges, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. As far as technical application goes, Gian is far and above the cleanest tattoo of the day. Do you think his technical application is better than Kelly's? Right. I think it's on par. Kelly's tricks outweigh Gian's. So you're saying best tattoo of the day goes to Gian? This is the best tattoo. Wow. However, let's take the other things into consideration. The other thing is covering up. Yes. I think he hit the challenge. For a winner, I'm leaning more towards a cover up. Let's look at Nikki's tattoo and look at what she covered, because that's a full on cover up. It is. And that's a full on beautiful tattoo. It is. Robert, which way are you leaning? I'm leaning on Nikki. The tattoo of the day that is strong technical application and beauty and fit and everything encompassing, whether it's a cover up or not, is Gian. Wow. My vote is for Kelly. I believe you hit the challenge. I believe your artistry is on point. Looks pretty technically sound to me. Chris. I'm with Nikki. It was a large cover-up, and she laid it out perfectly and executed it like a champ. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Nikki. Thank you.